we will go, we will be presenting a system used to move supplies to hurricane victims that cannot be reached because of bad ground conditions. Mr. President, we desperately need your help. We've been hit by a major hurricane. I have been supposed to flooding has caused severe damage. All roads and access are blocked. We have many victims who desperately need food and water and no way to reach them. Can you help? Governor Lassane, we understand this is the situation. Help is already on the way. The United States has has developed a brand new technology to help meet today's victims. I've been invited to talk to disaster recovery specialist to explain the need of the helicopter. Governor, let me present you to the helicopter delivery system. Uh, this system consists of cars filled with much needed supplies. A U.S. naval ship loads with thousands of these pods will be anchored offshore to as close to the impact area as possible. From there, we send out helicopters to search and identify the victims in need of supplies. GPS coordinates of the victims will be radioed back to the ship. Using remote control, these pods will then be navigated to these locations and safely delivered to the waiting victims. Each pod uses a camera that allows the, hel the helipod pilot to see where he's landing and the blinking light so it can be easily found by those who need it. These low-cost pods are preloaded with water purification tablets, protein bars, or whatever supplies are needed. <coughs> Once the pods are safely delivered, the top remote control section, or, yeah, top remote control section detaches and heads back to the ship tree, tree another pod. In this way, we can supply victims with supplies this is amazing technology, Mr. President. This will surely save many lives. We will now demonstrate the helipod system making a delivery to waiting victims. This is chapter three. I started my heart in victims. Over. No, but I need food and water and stuff. No. I'm sending the GPS coordinates now. Do you copy? Charge that truck for me to find to see. Another car is on the way. Over. That concludes our demonstration of the helipod system. Okay, guys, very good. You guys tell me, tell us about some of the sources you used in your research. Well, we had um, one of the uh, kids' moms come in who has been in a hurricane and talk to us about what they might need to do to prepare and recover from a hurricane. What else? Um, and we went home and did some research on hurricanes and brought five facts back to um, Coach Justin, and he reviewed them, and um, we thought of a way how to, <clears throat> how people were in need. Like, we, we took the Philippines hurricane, for example, where um, the supplies can be handed to the, um, to the victims, so we thought of a way to try, like, to try to um, bring, supplies over to waiting victims that need help and like that people that um, are on land and can't get reached. So you use books and the internet? I have the internet. You had a question that uh, I know this isn't a concept here, but this is a just a, a model but in real life how how big would you Make this helipod. Um, I'd say about six feet tall, foot or two wide. Well, you could really make it in the size of all the things. Then you have to The top comes off and goes back to the ship. ship. The ship. And to get more supplies, bring more of the So it's kind of like a UAV, unmanned aerial vehicle. 
Yeah. Remote control? Yeah. Ah. And how did you, at one point you mentioned it was a low-cost device, how did you determine the cost of doing research on that? Um, well, we didn't do much research, but we figured that it would be made out of heavy cardboard for the top would probably be metal, but the pod itself and the base would probably be cardboard or plastic. So as a team, how did you decide or come up with the problem that you wanted to solve and then the solution that you wanted to apply to the team? Well, we did a vote on which maximum maximum ability of uh, we ended up with currently and that we tried to think of something we could do, and it didn't really work out, and then the whole team and the coach worked together. So like at first we were um, like going to make cardboard tubes, and we were going to like shoot them out of cannons, but then we decided that wasn't going to work as well, and we um, decided to make it like control uh, Did any of you guys watch 60 Minutes? Oh, how they were doing Amazon. Yeah, 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 I watched that. That happened after we had our oh, plan in place. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> it's just fun. Um, yeah, sure. It's just fun. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are geniuses. Jack Bezos. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.